Hey YouTube, today I'm at the theatre because today we're going to be reviewing this West End theatre mock. Hi guys and welcome to Brick Talk TV. Terry here and today we're looking at my West End theatre mock. Uh, before I start with the review, just a reminder that the instructions for this mock and all the other mocks I've covered in my other um, videos are available on rebrickable.com. I've put the link in the description below so if you're interested in recreating these models please head over there after this video and you can check out those uh, downloads there. So back to this West End Theatre. Uh, this model is actually inspired by St Edward's Theatre in London uh, in the Soho district. At the time of designing this Disney's Aladdin was playing at the theatre which is which then allowed me to actually include some Aladdin minifigures in the set as stage actors. So the minifigures also include the theatre staff. We've got some ushers here. We've also got uh, Abraham Lincoln, um, who as you know, sadly met his demise in a theatre setting. Uh, and then you've got Jazz, Princess Jasmine, you've got Aladdin, you've got the genie, and you've got Jafar, who in this particular scenario are the stage actors. This was the second mock that I actually created after the church mock, which I've covered in an earlier review. Check the card out if you haven't seen that video. So this model sits on a 32 by 32 plate with two 8 by 16 plates at the rear. So the overall surface is 32 by 40 studs, so you've got a bit more depth to work with. Um, I chose to do this to actually allow me to pack more detail into the build and provide enough space to do the stage area and the auditorium. The build itself is over three levels. Uh, you've also got the roof, and there's also a separate pull-out stage area at the rear, which I'll talk through in a minute. The build is actually 5,206 parts, predominantly in reddish-brown bricks and medium nugget. The part number is quite high, but that's due to the building technique that was used. Uh, to get more of a brick texture here on the exterior, I used plates to build the walls up rather than bricks. So given that plates are one third the height of bricks, it took quite a few to actually get the same height you'd normally get. And the desired height I wanted was quite high. So as an overview, I've tried to capture the West End London theatre architecture with this build. So again, I've tried to do the brick texture here on the two levels, um, just to give you some authenticity here. As you look around the front, it's actually got a side alleyway here, which, is, which isn't, so it's not quite a corner modular but you've actually got access to a stage door that sits down this side and there's an addition of a poster. I have put stickers uh, in the instructions as well so you can print off some Aladdin posters. As you can see we've got Aladdin uh, stickers here that are stuck onto tiles to advertise that Aladdin's playing. There is also a poster down this side that says that Aladdin is playing uh, and then up here we've actually advertised Mary Poppins which was the next show to be uh, playing at the theatre and is actually playing at the time of recording at the moment. Um, so that's why that's on top, just to give some different visual appeal. Then on the exterior down here I've tried to, we've got an extra door here which is the exit for most people because in London theatres generally they let people get out of fire exits and other exits when, when they want people to vacate the premises. So this would be used for that particular purpose. Then you've got several doors here that are actually the main entrance which you'd go through to then get into the, the ticket hall and then into the actual theatre itself. I've included a balcony. Um, that is actually There is actually a balcony on the a real theatre, so I've tried to include that there. And then there's more detail. There's some doors, additional windows, and I've tried to actually just do a bit more uh, detail around some sort of gold leaf type parts of the build as well here. So you've got some leaves that are in gold and some swirls as well. There is also some additional detail down the side, just to add some interest here. Um, rather than it just being all brick and I'll talk through those in a bit. So, so now I'm going to just walk through each level and give you some in-depth information about each of the levels starting with the base. So here we are now with just the base area. As I already mentioned it's 32 studs wide so that's the standard modular width. We've got the addition of the, the lamp post which again is a mandatory feature of a modular. Um, and then as we go inside here uh, you've got the four doors that lead into a ticket hall area. Inside the ticket hall area you've actually got the ticket booth, so obviously where you can buy tickets. And there's room there for a minifig to sit inside there and sell the tickets. There's also a till um, where people can use uh, uh, cash to buy things. I've also included a spiral staircase here so that patrons of the 
theatre can then access the next levels, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, and then there's these two red doors here and they lead through to the main auditorium, so that's where the main theatre is. Um, you've got two additional toilets um, that sit to the right, so a male and a female toilet. There is uh, some level of detail there where the, um, the female toilet just has a, a main cubicle, whereas the gents has a cubicle and a urinal, with some, we both have sinks. Then you also have on this side the um, changing rooms uh, for the actors. So in here you've got two chairs, you've also got the addition of a mirror, so I've taken the part that you use um, in the barber shop in the detectives modular uh, and I've used that mirror piece in here so, you, so the stars have a, a lit up mirror to do their makeup in. Um, and then this part here at the back, these are the wings of the stage. So the stage is separate as I said, so that's why there's a big gap here. Um, and I'll, I'll talk through that separately in a minute. In the main uh, seating area here, you've actually got 15 seats. So you've got five seats in three rows. Um, and then some additional lighting there as well. So that's mainly what the ground floor is made up of here. As I mentioned, you've got a balcony here where many figures will be able to um, socialize during the breaks between each of the, the theatre acts. And then you've got the details of the, uh, of the entrances with some arch windows as well. On the, I'll just spin this round sideways so you get to see some of this detail here. So this, as I said, is like an alleyway. It's not a proper roadside corner as such. Uh, this is the stage door where the actors can enter uh, privately without having to go through the main entrance to get through to the dressing room and the wings of the stage. And then here is a poster for the current um, show, which is obviously Aladdin, as I've mentioned. Uh, this is actually similar to how uh, West End Theatre has. It has a poster. It's, I think it's actually situated on the second level um, in real life, but for this module, I wanted to stick it on the ground floor just to give a bit more visual appeal rather than this... Uh, masonry wall uh, which was just a bit too blocky for me so I've added it in there as well. This is made up of uh, different tiles uh, with stickers that overlay the, the multiple tiles uh, rather than with just one big massive piece. And then this is kind of how this is how the rear looks without the stage. This is where the stage would normally sit uh, and you can see some internal detail there. So what I'll do now is I'll flip over to the second level separately um, and we'll look at the stage first before we move up. Uh, to the actual second level so you get an idea for that and then I'll also at the end show you what it looks like without the stage piece um, but with all of the uh, levels added on top of each other so you can get a feel for what the stage eye view looks like as well. So let's flip over to the stage now and take a look at that. So this is a separate uh, stage piece that I was talking about so this slots into the rear of the building uh, throughout. Uh, I've decided to make the stage separate so you can actually get easy access and you can position the minifigures however you wish to position them. I wanted to add a bit of detail and let it cover several um, levels as well. So this actually goes up right to the top of the, uh, the building at the rear. In the bottom, you've got the orchestra pit. So I've got some minifigures set out there, half height without legs. And they're portraying that there's some depth underneath the stage uh, with the orchestra playing the music for the, for the musical. Um, you've then got some stage area. I did originally have a trap door, but that didn't quite work uh, very well. So I've actually then got rid of the trap door and we've just got some stage wood here. This is the genie's lamp that's already in position. Uh, and then you've got some curtains down the side and then these are supposed to indicate that there's some uh, ruffles of curtains across the top as well. Uh, this background here is actually separate um, and can be pulled out. And so you can actually decorate that however you wish to based on the scene that you're doing. This is just depicting a sunny day with some sun and um, some cloud going on. It just, it just slots in the back here and stands in position while you're positioning the actors. And then up here I've added some more detail just to give some interest really uh, and you normally see some grandeur within a uh, above a stage. So you've got a golden scorpion up here, you've got a couple of arch windows uh, and then some statues. Uh, this is actually the um, the hat that you, can, you might find in Harlequin and some of the Joker um, stuff. And I've actually just stolen that just to use that as a, as a way to indicate you know theatrical um, jokery and some stuff like that. Uh, and then that's it really, so that's that's kind of how the stage is and it just slots into the back once you've positioned your minifigures into position. So what we'll do now is we'll jump over to the second level and I'll walk you through what that is. So as we move up to the second level here, um, you can see there's two doors at the front because this actually leads to the balcony which is actually attached to the, the lower level. So these people would be able to walk out uh, onto the balcony through these doors here. And then you've got a couple of windows here, some tall ones just to let some light in. Um, and then you've got some flower beds here as well, uh, flower boxes here, just to again add some 
uh, some interest to the exterior and just to level it up a little bit. Um, but then inside here you've actually got a bar where people can buy some drinks. So there's some beer taps, there's, there's a teal and some glasses. Just allows people during the um, intervals for the theatre to get some refreshment. And then there's a small seating area with two stools uh, and a little table with a lamp so people could sit down there. We've got some artwork on the walls. Uh, there's a Japanese inspired portrait above the, uh, the staircase entrance. And then as you move into the, back into the auditorium again, and this is where you're starting to see some stalls. So um, you're starting to see some seating area. Uh, we've got four seats that sit in the front here. You've got two either side. Uh, and this just gives you a better look at the stage from slightly higher position as you'd normally expect in a theatre. Uh, there's some additional lights down the side um, with some additional pictures that are hanging on the wall just to add some interest. There, uh, there's some curved theatre style booths going on here just to give it a, a bit of architectural detail. And hanging off one of those is one of the stage lights uh, that is pointing towards the stage. And then on this side you then start seeing uh, the staircase which then leads up to the private boxes at the top on the next level which I'll talk about. You'll also notice I've added some uh, detail here by building some uh, numbers into the, the front again to indicate when the uh, theatre was built. Uh, some people may say to me actually this probably should say 1813 instead of 1318. Uh, you can do it however you wish um, but that's how I've configured it because I quite liked it like that. Uh, so now let's just flip over to the third level and we'll talk through that. So here we are on the highest level. Uh, so that up on here you've got the more windows uh, and some more gold leaf detail here and the light really shines through. Up here you've also got an addition of a smaller bar up here where you can actually get other refreshments like uh, coffee and other things. And this level is really reserved uh, for boxes. So this is where we're expecting the more um, affluent type people uh, to be attending the theatre. We've got some gold detail uh, along the corridor, you've got some lights, you've got some pillars as well um, and then you've just got one, one box here with five seats in uh, where people can visit and sit down and then there's just an addition of like the dark red and gold trimmed carpet up here as well, let's get a bit of that. Uh, and then I've added some diamonds across here, you know that sort of look again which you've seen quite a few builds just to um, break up the, the dark red which I started to introduce in the front at this level. Um, then you have down this side as I mentioned earlier on the base this is where the detail starts to come in for um, some of the brick work so I've added this just to break up the, um, the look of the bricks as you as you go down the side of the alleyway there so now we'll just have a quick look at the roof and I'll show you some of the detail we've got on top so here's some of the detail on the roof at the front you can see we've got some wings just to uh, give some interest architecturally uh, to the front of the building and then we're trying to keep some curved edges here uh, and I try to maintain the white um, appearance and this goes all the way around the edge of the of the roof. On top of the roof you've got three air conditioning units which are probably very much needed in um, in the theatres during the summer uh, and then you've got this advertising billboard in the middle here which is advertising uh, the up-and-coming um, event that's going to take place. You can actually angle this uh, into different places uh, depending on uh, you know how you position your theatre so you get the maximum um, exposure for your next up-and-coming theatre. Again, this sticker uh, covers multiple tiles and all the stickers that you've seen in this are actually included in the instruction manual on a particular page that you can just print out on, on stickers and then just uh, apply to the right, um, to the right pieces. Uh, and then that's it, it's quite simple, it's pretty much flat. There's a couple of details with the air conditioning and then you've got the advertising um, billboard there as well. So what I'll do now is I'll quickly just show you what it looks like from a theatre point of view uh, with the stage left out. Um, and so you get a feel for um, the grandeur of what, how it looks when it's all together. So this is the theatre eye view. I've left the roof off to let the light shine in, but hopefully you can see what it would look like if you were performing as a minifig on the stage. It's got quite a lot of height here, uh, and you can see all the different levels um, of balconies that people would look up to. You can see the light uh, that's in position shining on the stage, and then you can see the wings and how it all fits together. Um, so hopefully you, um, you can appreciate this is really capturing what a theatre would look like uh, in terms of the architectural detail uh, inside of it. So now I'll just uh, put the roof back on and we'll, we'll sum up. So overall this building was a, 
a great thing to design and build. I had, I had really um, a lot of fun doing it. Uh, and I think it kind of looks great in any city. It certainly does in mine. It gives it your city and your residence uh, a place to unwind at the weekends. Um, it's got some great playability and the chance to customize the posters and put on different shows will be great in the future as well. I also think that this gives it a slightly different architectural style than maybe you've seen in other mocks as well. So it would give a bit of interest if you're looking through the cityscape. So I hope you found this review interesting. As a reminder, all the instructions are available on rebrickable.com and you can find the links for those in the descriptions below. If you found this review helpful, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe and hit the subscribe button now um, to be updated on any future reviews we do. And until then, do stay safe and we'll see you then.